In this tutorial we're going to create a simple floor plan using Illustrator and we're going to learn how to use layers and then do some duplicating, rotating, and scaling. So jump into Illustrator and just create a new document and I'm going to start off with kind of the outer walls of a, a building structure. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab just kind of a color that I want my walls to be and then I'm just going to draw one wall and then I'm going to stick with that. So pick a thickness. We want to keep everything consistent uh, and then just start duplicating. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key, duplicate, and then bring that down and then Alt, duplicate. And then I want to rotate this and kind of shrink this. So to rotate, if I go to a corner and rotate, right now it's going to kind of um, it might snap to it and show 90 degrees or you can hold down shift and it'll constrain it. So that's a good way uh, to do that. The harder part of this is shrinking down one of these because if you start to shrink it down you might accidentally make it too uh, thick or too small. So command Z to undo that. And really the best way to do this is to zoom in on it. So I'm going to hold down Alt and kind of zoom in so you can get this middle piece and then just kind of pull that in and then use your scroller wheel to kind of zoom back out. You can use a space bar to pan and then just kind of go back and forth a little bit. So once you get some of these shorter walls and you don't have to keep doing that, you can hopefully just duplicate from there. So Alt and then hold down shift to duplicate and then maybe do some of the inner walls too depending on what your floor plan is supposed to look like. So that's the first goal is just getting your um, outer walls. Then the next thing we're going to do is jump into your layers. If you do not see this little tab up here for layers you can also come up to window and bring up your layers that way. Um, but this first one I'm just going to double click on it and name this walls. And um, that'll give me my wall. So if I were to click on the eyeball, it'll hide everything and then click on it again and show everything. So I'm going to go ahead and lock that up for a minute by just clicking in that spot. And then down here somewhere in the bottom you can see this little icon, create new layer. And that's what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and name this window or windows. And for windows, I'm going to just keep it simple. I'm just going to draw a nice little rectangle over it. It'll kind of snap to it and then just choose once again just any color you feel like choosing just something different from the walls and then from there you've got your window and then alt and just kind of duplicate that duplicate that to rotate it go from a corner and hold down the shift to kind of constrain that if you've got some smaller windows zoom in on it so you can kind of make sure you don't tweak it uh, and go from there. So, so lay out um, all your windows. After your windows, then the next step, lock that up, create a new layer, and then we'll just do doors. And there's other ways to do this, so don't feel like this is the only way to do it. So to do doors, I'm just going to grab the rectangle again, and this time I'm going to just do the door opening to start off with and I'll just go ahead and turn that back to white. So this is the door opening and then um, I want to just show the actual door which way it would go. So depending on which way it swings, I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit and then just kind of click and drag to make kind of a door. Um, the other option I guess we could have done is we could have uh, duplicated this squeeze it down just to kind of shrink it and you got a couple options on this so um, I'm going to add a color to it and then once I've added that color you could just rotate it hold down the shift kind of constrain it and you could just leave it like that so that could be your door opening it's showing which direction it goes uh, if you want to make it a little bit more complicated um, bring it out like this Put it on the corner and then if you go underneath uh, the line tool which actually is not showing up well there's the line tool but I want to create this curve and this is not showing up in my basic tool so from here if I go to essentials and go to classic it's going to give you all kinds of new tools 
and underneath the line segment you can actually go and go to arch tool and the way this works is you just click and drag if it goes the wrong direction like this then you just go from the other direction so click and drag and just kind of put that where you want it to go so uh, so there is my my door opening so I don't want to create that again I want to just use that same one over and over so I'm gonna click hold down shift to select all those pieces and then I'm gonna right mouse click and group it or you can press command G or control G on a PC so now it's easy to grab that and then I can just go ahead and place that so hold down the alt key and duplicate that so now I can just kind of position that where I want it to go position it in the space alt and then just kind of throw those around there so hopefully you got the sizing right mine might be a little bit too big um, but the, the the whole idea is try and be consistent on this whole project um, if for whatever reason I did need to shrink this down these are all on different layers so when I click on different elements you kind of have to pick and choose but if I select all of my layers at the same time or unlock them I can actually shrink them all at the same time and I think I'm just what I'm going to do real quick just to center that in there okay so doors once you get your doors done then the next thing would be to do is probably just your furniture and just do basic furniture so nothing too complicated um, so like for a bed if this were a bedroom you just kind of do and you can even leave it blank too so but if you wanted to add a little bit of furniture um, you can do that but bedrooms could be as simple as that uh, tables if you want to throw out some circular tables um, maybe I have a table in here and then some smaller pieces for the, the tables that go around or the pieces that go around it so somewhere in here there's probably a bathroom um, or a kitchen or something so bathroom um, let's go to the rounded rectangle and typically your bathrooms and that doesn't look that good I'm gonna go ahead and just do a regular rectangle so bathroom and then and just kind of think what does it look like looking straight down so we could throw that in there if I wanted to select that I could even play a little bit with some align tools right mouse click and group that together so now I've got a bathroom that I can throw and put wherever I wanted to um, kitchen so for kitchens so if I want to put some cabinetry it go into rectangle and probably just uh, kind of throw in some simple cabinetry so I'm just going to duplicate this to kind of try and keep the same distance so there's maybe a cabinet my doors are definitely way too big um, and then if you want to do a sink on there maybe that's where I use my rounded rectangle and throw in a simple little drain uh, and kind of go there and now my stuff is getting a little bit too thick on the lines and that's probably because I shrunk it down and I probably shouldn't have done that but oh well so select that and then I'll go ahead and align that to in there so that could be a simple sink if you've got a double sink you can do that too things like refrigerators or ovens are usually just a simple um, square and then just kind of a another square for the door so this would be like the opening for the fridge or an oven or dishwasher so you can kind of play with that um, somewhere in there you might have some stairs and for right now I don't know if I have room for my stairs let me move this over here for a second and so I'm going to throw some stairs in here real quick so to do stairs typically um, and I need another wall so I'm going to throw in another wall here and then I'm going to shrink that down real quick so if there were some stairs going up here usually draw the walls first and then you could do this actually on the walls layer it, and I'm going to do it there so don't feel like and if you put it on the furniture that's fine too but um, lines 
Uh, probably the easiest way to do stairs. So I'll just go ahead and just draw one line and then duplicate that line. And just select those. And then if I select all of those, uh, go to the Align tool. Um, and up here I've got all my Align things, or you can pull up the Align tool, go to Window and Align. And there's a spacer here, so I have them already selected. I can just space them out, and there's my stairs. And then the last thing to complete this would be to add some simple text. So, and all you want me to do for that is create a new layer, and name this text, and grab the text tool, single click, and just name it like bed room or B room depending on uh, and this is where you can get into a little bit of trouble like bedroom bathroom they kind of both start with that so you could just name it bath if you don't have enough room um, just leave it as bath um, and kind of go from there but try and be consistent on this to keep um, about the same spacing if you can and kind of label those rooms. So I, if you single click with the text tool, it'll let you click. Uh, don't click and drag, because if you do that, then it just creates this text box, and that's kind of a pain. So I actually just single click and then type. And then once you create one of those, I just clicked on one and held down the Alt to duplicate it. Um, and then went from there, so dining. And there you go. So create your simple floor plan.